Today I'll be showing you a preview of the upcoming Risa Connection Tecla Structures link. This link is designed to allow Tecla Structure users to design connections within their existing Tecla Structure models. This link will be available to all Tecla Structure and Risa Connection customers at no cost, and it will be available at the end of 2012. Once the link is available and you've installed it onto your computer, you'll see a toolbar available for your use within Tecla Structures. This is the Risa Link toolbar and will allow you to send the connections to Risa Connection for the design and pull the results back into your Tecla Structures model. In assigning connections, it's going to be very similar to how you've done in the past. You'll use the Tecla Structures component catalog to assign connections. In this model, I've assigned some clip angle connections, end plate connections, and shear tab connections. The only addition you're going to want to add to these connections is to apply loads to them. So if I double click on this end plate connection and go to the design tab, you'll notice there's an option to turn the design on or off. If you want Risa Connection to design your connection, you'll need to turn this on and you'll need to specify the loads you wish the connection program to use to design it. I have done so for quite a few connections within this model. Once you've assigned all your connections and applied your loads, it's just a matter of clicking this equal sign to design the connections within Risa Connection. This sends all of the information to Risa Connection and creates a model that has all of your Tecla Structures components in it. So you can see here I have my clip angle, my end plate, and my shear tab connections. And you'll notice that the program is smart enough to group them together. So I have three connections within this group here. And to make any changes to those, I can go in here and I can change them as a group or I can change them individually. But first I want to know, do they pass in the conditions that I have right now? So I'm just going to run an analysis and a design on this project and you'll see it ran rather quickly and it tells me that all of them pass. Now this tells me that they may be over designed. So if I want to go in and make any changes to them, I can do so. For instance, for my uh, end plate connection here, I can go in and I can see right now I have five bolts. But let's see if we can change the number of bolts and if it will still pass. So as I said, I'm going to be doing this for all of the connections, or if you wanted to do it, if you had one that was not passing, you could do it for just one. So in this case, I'm going to change the bolts per row. And right now it is set to five. I'm going to take that down to four, and I'm going to rerun this group and see if it passes. So four still works. I could continue to reduce the number of bolts and see if it works. Let's see if two works and rerun it there. And I can see, no, it doesn't work. And if I want to see what the actual failure mode is, I can go to the report section and I can see it's due to erection stability and it fails. And I can expand and show the actual calculation here. Now you can print any of these calculations. You can expand all of them and print all of the detailed calculations, or you can collapse them all and just print an overview. Now I need to be sure that this connection passes. So I'm going to go and I'm going to increase this number of bolts to three and rerun it and see if that passes. And I can see that it does pass. So now that I know that three bolts passes, I want to send this information back to my Tecla Structures model. So I'm going to save this model. And then you'll notice within Risa Connection that there is an export connection results to Tecla option. So if I click on this option, it's going to take me back into the Tecla Structures model and it's going to make those changes. So if I scroll in very close here, I can see that it went from a five bolt connection to a three bolt connection. And you can go back and forth between Tecla Structures and Risa Connection as many times as you want. Now, if you choose not to want to know the details of the connection, you can actually view the, the connection design results within Tecla Structures without having to open Risa Connection as I just did. To see the results, you can quickly, simply click on this Show Risa Connection Results, and it's going to bring open this dialog that's going to show the results. Now, you can look at them individually or as a, as a group, as I mentioned before, or you can look at them individually, and you'll see that it tells you the unit, unity check and whether they pass or fail. So this is a good overview that you can see from within Tecla Structures. That is a general overview of the RISA connection and Tecla Structures link. We're very excited about this and hope to see, see more from you in the future.